What's up, everybody? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, back with some more Funko Fusion. Scott Pilgrim Level 4 Story is next. That's right, we're about to double dragon. This is actually one of my favorite parts of the movie, the cinematic experience with the giant... Uh, well, you'll see. It's pretty cool, and they did a wonderful job in this game recreating the battle. So, uh, without further hesitation, let's go ahead and pick up right where we left off in the Funko Factory hub of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Now, over in the corner back there, door number four awaits us, where we're going to take on Evil X's five and six. And they are twins, if you haven't seen the movie. And it's basically a big DJ battle. In a, well, I guess it's a music battle more than a DJ battle, but you'll get to see. As soon as we land in the area, we of course need to flip the switch to open the door. And inside we go, triggering a cutscene. How about that cutscene, huh? <laughs> Pretty awesome. All right, we've got some ice we need to shatter with the yellow shockwaves of an amp, so we'll go ahead and mold one right now. Be aware there are a couple of different types of attacks that this boss is going to throw at us. Well, literally, he's going to throw some ice at you, which could hurt you with the shattering crystals, but also could spawn into an ice baddie. Look at that. One's happening right now. We're going to go ahead and drop the amp in the middle right next to this sculpture, flip it on over to the yellow shockwaves, and pump it up with either Scott or Steven as they have the amp ability. Go ahead and pick up the remains, which happen to be a light bulb. That's a weird spot. We need to find two more speakers, uh, some sort of a control panel, and what looks like a guitar case, but I'm not sure exactly what that is. Go ahead and pick up the amp, move it over to the left side of the area, and pump, 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 pump it up again, shattering the glass, revealing a fuse. Take this fuse over to the right-hand side, and we're actually going to use the environment, the bar, that is, to go ahead and jump up and avoid those ice baddies in any of the ground attacks that happen so that we can focus on shooting these targets. Complete all four in the appropriate order within the time limit, and it should drop a speaker for you. Now, again, those are a little bit time-sensitive, so try to hit the... Well, try to use your best aim possible if it doesn't work out for you, like I said, try using the environment because it certainly removes the possibilities of being attacked by the ice baddies or being hit by that shockwave, which could stunt your shooting and prevent you from completing it. All right, next up, we actually need the amp, and we need to go up the stairs on the right-hand side of the room. Now, of course, right-hand side being the side looking at the dragons, we got to flip it back over to the blue sonic waves, but not before shattering the glass. So hit it with the yellow first, switch it to the blue, and then get your sonar on, and we'll go ahead and glide across. Look at that. We got ourselves a heart. If you need it, feel free to pick it up. And meanwhile, we're going to grab that speaker and hightail it back to the stage. Of course, collecting a lot of this vinyl along the way. Got to get it all, got to get it all. All right, so two speakers, ka 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 complete. Unfortunately, we need that amp again, so we're gonna go up and swoop that thing up and make our way over to the staircase on the left-hand side. It's tucked away in the back left corner and actually comes towards the main stage versus against it. Well, I guess it depends on what the main stage is. It's a battle happening right now, as it is Battle of the Bands. And yeah, so we're going to place this out here and we're going to need the blue sonic waves to get across. However, there are some stuff preventing us from getting through there. There's some little shock factors. Before we even mess with that, though, let's turn around and run all the way back to the front side there where we can grab. I'm not sure what this is. I, like I said, I thought it was like a guitar case, but that's definitely not a guitar. Is it like a it must be some sort of like a mixer board or something? It's definitely sound related. And basically what we're doing is building a giant amp so we can charge it up and attack the dragons and basically even the playing ground a little bit. I recommend standing on top of the speaker and shooting all three of those and quickly charge up the blue shock waves to ride them across, pick up the final piece, which we will slap in here. 
Once you do this, it should actually turn this giant speaker wall purple. Will you shall? And with that being said, we gotta pump it up as well. So shoot it until you completed that meter. And look at that, we've got a giant Yeti that's gonna come and take on the double dragons. Now it's up to us to take out any of the ice guys on the floor as well as shooting these dragons. So I go up on the far right side balcony here and I feel like I'm pretty close. Now, I do believe that the rule of three is happening here. And you, although there's not a health meter, you can kind of tell where you're at in the battle because it started off giving us white numbers for the damage. Then it goes to orange. I keep checking my back, worrying that I'm going to get attacked by an ice guy. <laughs> he, yeah, I almost slipped that one right there. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and notice that the numbers are red now, which is your indication of the battle being almost over. So keep shooting them. Doesn't really matter where you get them as long as you're doing that damage. Eventually, it will end and you can make your way to the stage. Now, it wants you to melee them both so they'll pop into a coin that we can take over to the fun key machine. But I highly recommend using your pew pews first and collecting as much vinyl as possible. Now, you're not going to get rich quick here, but at the same time, it does add up quite a bit. I think we get a few thousand out of this, so definitely worth it, especially since we're trying to get five million. I mean, a few thousand, what's that when you're going for five mil? But at the same time, got to get them all, got to get them all. All right, so give them both a little smackerini once you're complete with the vinyl. Eventually, it'll stop, too. You can't just farm it forever. And then pick up the coin. We'll make our way across the room one more time to drop it in the old fun key machine, collect our key, and then, you might have guessed, we are out of here. That's right, all right. Avoid those shocks up above. And there we go. Find your way over to the key door. Slap it in. Spin it around. In we go, but it's not over yet. Now, if you want, you can actually take on a Mega Man quest by going down there and popping a purple chest, getting the key card, taking it back in. If you're ready to just finish the level and complete the story like we are, knowing that we'll be back in the fun play mode to take on all collectibles and likely have quest videos of their own. Ooh, that's new, Brian. I hadn't heard that yet. That's kind of what our plan is leading to. Inside the second door, which you do have to melee both of the security guards there in order to get access, Inside is the golden crown. Collect it, and we are officially done did with level four double dragon story. We are gonna, of course, return to the factory and return to our main position in the Funko Factory Hub for Scott Pilgrim versus the world, which will give us a nice peek at the final level, which is a battle against Gideon, as you might have imagined if you've seen the movie, played the game, or read the comic. So uh, that's going to go ahead and wrap it up, guys. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully these videos have been helpful. If they are, click that like button down below. Head on over to happythumbsgaming.com as well. It's where our written trophy achievement guide for this and many other games are. We'd love to see you over there. But guys, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time.